So atherosclerosis is a ongoing process which starts from the very young to the old age. So nobody is immune to, uh, to the process of atherosclerosis. And why atherosclerosis is, we are uh, concerned about atherosclerosis because it's the leading cause of death worldwide. It is, uh, it is much more than what infection diseases, cancers, injury. I'm talking about uh, much more that is caused by atherosclerosis and atherothrombosis. Now it is not only uh, limited to the coronary arteries, it is limited to all, all, the, uh, all the vessels in the arterial tree. So when we are talking about um, coronary artery disease, we always talk about the risk factors. Is risk factors the only important thing? You, but uh, when you consider th the cardiovascular disorder, disorders, uh, two or more risk factors, the, uh, the classical risk factors of hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia, smoking, uh, your family history, you are, it is seen only in around uh, 38 or 40% of patients and one risk factor is seen in 43% of the patients. And patients who develop a coronary event or an atherosclerotic event, none of the risk factors is present in about 20% of the patients. So, 60% of patients who develop coronary events have only one or even none of the traditional risk factors. More than half of either normal or mildly increased lipid levels. So it is beyond lipids, it is beyond the risk factors, there is something is playing in, uh, in, 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 the, disease, in, the, in the process of atherosclerosis. And one of the most important um, is, is, the, is the path of inflammation. And when you talk about atherosclerosis, we are talking about all forms of atherosclerosis, all aspects. Ischemic stock, transient ischemic uh, attack, myocardial infarction, angina. Angina, peripheral artery diseases. All forms of uh, atherosclerosis comes into the, into the category of atherothrombosis. And one size does not fit all because you have multiple factors which are causing this other thrombotic manifestations of myocardial infarction, stroke, and vascular death. It, there are uh, local factors in, which are involved, like the elevated prothrombotic factors like fibrinogen, CRP, then blood flow patterns like, uh, 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 like uh, endothelial shear stress, vessel diameter structures, systemic conditions of uh, hypertension, dyslipidemia, hypercoagulable state, and hyperhomocystinemia. Lifestyle diseases like uh, smoking, diet, lack of exercise, genetic factors, and generalized disorders. When all these combinations, combination of combinations work together, you can have them different manifestations of other thrombobolic uh, diseases. It is when you consider uh, other, uh, the, the process that is atherosclerosis. Even in the coronaries, it has got uh, different manifestations. This is a this is a, uh, a physiological coronary artery where you have low uh, shear stress. Low shear stress, you develop a, a, a fibroatheroma. In the fib compensatory, rather than the stenotic lesions, we will have expansive or the expansive remodeling that will become uh, like a, um, a ectactic coronary shear stress. There will be high shear stress. There will be constrictive remod constrictive remodeling and that will cause a stenotic plaque and you have the evidence of an, a stable angina. When you have a very simple process which will lead to only one manifestation, that is not the situation. With a simple process, the shear stress and depending upon the amount of macrophages situations and will lead to different type of physiology. Hemorrhagic cells, and mass cells plated, all the important cells, all the important cells Leads to an leads and about the platelet because antiplatelet ducts are the most important category. Inflammatory mediators like TNF, interleukin 1, cytokines, this leads to inflammation. You can have the dendritic cells which are leading to antigen presentation and lead, can lead to atherosclerosis. But the most important thing, one of the most uh, the research is going on is the masking different pathways like histamine, leukotriene, interleukin 6, interferon alpha. Again, it leads to inflammation. Cellularity immunity plays a very important role, especially the monocytes, the dendritic cells, as well as the mast cells. A CD8, a CD8 a, a cells were leads to cell death and inflammation. And depending from the monocytes, addition molecules, CRP, macrophages, oxidized lipids, further uh, all leads to inflammation. And the final cascade is the, is the instability and thrombus, which is producing an acute coronary syndrome.
this is all how it begins you have an activated this is from the vessel lumen you can activated monocytes which are entering into the media and again by the by the, the ldl get in, into the media and get oxidized